Xi'an, capital of 13 ancient dynasties in Chinese history, was once the largest city on the planet. Home to a glorious array of historical relics and cultural landmarks, the city is a living history book, attracting hundreds of millions of tourists every year. Today, I'm here as one of them to explore the historical marvels of the city. Amazing, 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 amazing. Oh, very good. I could eat this all day, really. Amazing. How would I say amazing in the local dialect? Okay, slowly. Liao. Liao. Zha. Lian. Liao 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 Xiang is also a paradise for foodies. What's the one thing I shouldn't miss here? I think it's the yang rou pao mo. Yang rou pao mo? Yeah, yang How is rou it? with mutton. Ah, is it? Bread in the mutton soup. Ah, I think I tried this before. Is it where you have to yeah, break yeah, up? Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, that was delicious. You break it into small. It was a lot of work though. <laughs> wrong? <laughs> I did it wrong. <laughs> Oh, way smaller. Okay, okay. I remember the lamb in the in the mountain dish. It was really tender and really soft. Yeah. <laughs> so I see a lot of fruit as well. It looks very colorful. Should we have a look, maybe? Good music! I can see why they're still happy. This guy has some skills, some moves. I'm really, really full, but I love the atmosphere. You can really tell people are enjoying themselves in the city, and what I love the most is the passion that goes into the food. Every dish is prepared with love, and you can definitely taste it. Now paint a picture with me from over 2,000 years ago, when a teenage boy named Ying Zheng ascended to the throne as the king of state of Qin. He became China's first emperor at the age of 38, after the Qin conquered all the other six warring states and unified all of China in 221 BC. Over 700,000 men were sent from all over his empire over the course of nearly 40 years to dig and construct a massive tomb, according to the records of the grand historian by Silma Qian. The tomb is known today as the mausoleum of Qin Shu Huan with its famous army of terracotta warriors. You would never experience the same level of grandeur I'm feeling right now without actually stepping inside the site. The sheer vividness and diversity of these two millennia old sculptures in battle formation are simply jaw-dropping. Nearly a thousand years after the curtain fell on the Qing dynasty, another emperor, along with his kingdom, was wildly hailed, not only for his rule, but also for a tragic story of romance. Located 25 kilometers east of Qiang, Wangjing Palace, a complex of hot springs, is famous as a supposed scene of a Tang emperor's romance with his lover. On a cold spring day, he bestowed upon her the honor of bathing at the pools of the palace. This was when she began to receive the emperor's advances. Believe it or not, but this pool is actually over 1,000 years old. It was filled with natural hot spring water and it seems quite luxurious even from today's perspective. It's 
So as you can see, it's actually raining, but I don't really mind because look at this fantastic sight. This is the mountain that the locals call the Black Horse. And thanks to the rain and the weather, it's covered in fog and looks really mysterious and spectacular. Xi'an is not just a treat for the eyes, but also for the ears. Qinjiang Opera, a high-pitched local opera, dates all the way back to the Qin Dynasty. Its time-honored history has given Qingjiang the reputation as the forefather of all styles of Chinese opera. Actually,清江是非常细腻的一个东西，而且它它的唱腔特别的婉转，它是那个花脸的那个角色，必须得豪迈、豪爽，有一种细微汉子的感觉。但是它其他行当，比如说旦角呀、笙角呀，它的有些